Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be revealing issue 15 of the Nintendo Gamer magazine, so we'll get straight into it. On the front we can see some nice imagery as well as what's going to be included on the inside of the magazine. Then on the back we've got some uh, advertising for Metroid Fusion, which is pretty cool to see. Nicely captured uh, imagery there from uh, in-game. And uh, what we're going to do now guys is we're going to flip the camera around, we get a bird's eye view, that way you get a better viewing of the magazine as I flick through page by page. So do let us know in the comments what you think guys, and if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. But for now, we're going to conclude this part of the video. Okay guys, so we'll get straight into the magazine. We've got a uh, nice two-page advert there for Die Hard, our uh, table of contents now. We have introduction to the magazine and some advertising there for the latest Lord of the Rings game. News section now, so um, all the latest gaming news we've got some top tens here so uh gamecube top tens uh Game Boy advance and in the um another top 10 here for uh, playstation 2 and xbox stuff as well as pc games which is quite nice to see we are taking a look um they're giving you 10 reasons why uh, metroid prime will rock which is pretty cool we have our review section Next, so first up we've got Super Monkey Ball 2. Tells us the developer, genre, availability and number of players. Uh, we've also got Mario Party 4 there. Nicely captured imagery from uh, in-game, which is quite nice to see. Batman Dark Tomorrow, nice two-page preview there. And we've got Galleon Islands of Mystery, another uh, two-page preview for that one. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, bit of an in-depth into that one. Okay, we've got uh, the mailbag section of the magazine now. Competition, so you could win uh, Godzilla back in the day, which would have been quite nice to uh, to win. We've got our reviews up next. Uh, so we've got 007 Nightfire. Okay, so we've got an overall score here at 95 out of 100. Also gives us positives and negatives, as well as um, score out of five for graphics, sound, and gameplay each there. Uh, we've got Medal of Honor Frontline up next. Also tells us um, for each game, the publisher, developer, genre, release date, price, the rating, number of players, and how many memory blocks are required as well. For 89% for that one. Godzilla is 88 percent next game reviewed is uh jedi outcast okay 92 percent for that one we have tie the tasmanian tiger 80 percent now uh, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2, 82% for that one. Reign of Fire, 80%. Mystic Heroes, 70%. And Reckless is uh, 60%. Next up, we've got the latest uh, Game Boy Advance news as well. Okay, we've got our... Uh, Review now for Metroid Fusion. Got gameplay uh, up on the uh, channel for this, guys, if you want to check it out. They do tell us the publisher, developer, genre, release date, price, uh, rating, number of players, and the uh, save support. Giving that one a 96 out of 100. Next game is Street Fighter Alpha 3. That's for uh, GBA, guys. 92% for that one. And now we've got the Resident Evil final walkthrough. So, um, nicely captured uh, imagery and detail on the uh, review there, guys. We've got a cheat section now, so take a look, find the game, and input the, uh, the cheat codes to uh, give you the uh, upper hand. And we've got our subscribe to the magazine section now. You can win some more stuff, and that's going to conclude the magazine, guys.
Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike. Once we get to the next milestone, we're doing the next giveaway, so do subscribe, running for that, and we'll catch you next time.